All right, Liz, thank you. 618 on your Tuesday morning. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This weekend, there will be a Pink Power 5K to help people battling the disease. All right, Daniel sat down with the teacher behind this idea and why this is so personal to her. Power Rangers. When you were younger, maybe you wanted to be a superhero. I told my nephew when I was little that he was obsessed with the Power Rangers and I told him that I was the Pink Power Ranger. I did tell him that. <laughs> it's too easy to smile when you're in Mindy Bishop's presence. She's a teacher at Brittany Hill Middle School, and while she may not be the pink Power Ranger, she's definitely a hero in her students' eyes. She's super nice, and she's willing to help anybody that needs it. She pours her heart into the relationships with all her kids and shows her goofy side without hesitating. In 2020, the student's hero began her personal battle. I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and also at the same time, I got hit hit pretty hard with COVID and I was hospitalized for a long time and so my recovery from the breast cancer was kind of compromised a little bit. I was going through my cancer at the same time as two of my friends and sadly they did not win their fight and I just told God that if he brought me through this that I would dedicate my life to helping others. And she's doing it by putting on an annual race. It's called Her Fight is Our Fight Pink Power 5K, benefiting the Stephanie Vest Foundation. I was kind of searching for what my purpose was, and one of my really good friends was helped by Stephanie Vest Foundation. And when she told me that, I knew it was like it was it was like a light switch. The Stephanie Vest Foundation helps families in need of financial assistance who are battling cancer. We bridge that gap from when they're like, you know, the world gets turned upside down to where they may get a little bit of financial assistance three or four months down the road and they don't have any money coming in because they can't work. Um, and that's where we come in. And honoring Stephanie Vest, who died of breast cancer at 34 years old in 2008. I've experienced what it's like to have cancer just have a, an immediate impact in your household financially, emotionally. And through fundraising events like the Pink Power 5K, it allows families to just focus on getting better. It's undoubtedly a, a, an amazing tribute to somebody who was very giving. Um, and, and that really is the foundation of why we started. And a mission Mindy Bishop says she'll keep contributing to. The reason why? Look where it says it's about supporting your team no matter what. Because I was carried through a very, very dark time. Because even though you physically feel so alone, all these people are pouring into you. And I just wanted to be able to do part of that for somebody else. And she is, she is doing that for so many people. Mindy says her main message is to just get a mammogram. Do not wait before it's too late. Be proactive and get one scheduled. So for those interested in going to her fight is our fight Pink Power 5K. This is going to be a great time, you all. It's from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at 2701 Northwest 1st Street in Blue Springs. It's this Saturday. It's only $10. Money raised benefits the Stephanie Vest Foundation. And Lindsay, you and I, we were talking about people we know who have battled through Far breast cancer, many. right? I have a friend who's going through treatment right now, and mm. she says um, there are people in, who work in this Blue Spring School District going through it. Carrie Mooneyham is one of them. She is actually a secretary. She's going through chemo for an aggressive form of cancer. If we could take a look at this picture, this is her and her family yeah. um, supporting her as she goes through this battle, but you have the school district behind her as well. And that's what's so key is having that support um, through, through such a difficult time. And we've heard more than one time, at least I have, I'm sure you guys have too, about people afraid to get a mammogram because what if they find something? Mm -hmm. And that's the point, like yeah. go do it because what if they find something? They, that is that is the entire purpose of going and doing that and don't let fear stop you from doing I got that. my letter to schedule mine, I gotta do it today. Yes. I gotta do it, do it today. Yeah, do it. right, thank, thank you, you very much.